Welcome to the Journey Shake Cam. Well, today you get to try a reaction in the basic solution. Please do the best you can, and I'll see you in a moment. And number one, we are balancing this redox reaction in basic solution. In basic solution, I can only add water, hydrogen ions, hydroxide ions, and electrons. The very first thing that I must do is determine the charges of all of the elements. Well, oxygen here is in the negative position, and therefore oxygen is negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. This is a compound, and therefore its overall charge is 0. There are two nitrogens, and therefore each nitrogen is plus four. And oxygen was negative two. Chlorine here is negative one. Oxygen here is also in the negative position. It is negative two. There are two of them, giving me a negative four. The overall charge of the polyatomic ion is negative one, and therefore, in this case, nitrogen is plus three. Again, oxygen is here in the negative position. It is negative 2. There are 3 of them. That gives me a negative 6. The whole polyatomic ion is negative 1. And therefore, in this case, chlorine is plus 5. And oxygen, in both cases, is negative 2. It is not changing. Now, what happened to nitrogen is, for a single atom, it went from plus 4 to plus 3. And therefore, it gained one electron and it was reduced. Chlorine went from negative one to plus five and therefore it was oxidized and it lost six electrons. Try to be a little consistent there. Now I separate it into the half reactions. We always balance these with a the half reaction method. Well, N2O4 goes to NO2. Well, here I notice that I have two nitrogen atoms, therefore I must put a coefficient there. I gain not just one electron, but because there are two atoms, I gain two electrons, and gainers go on the left. The number of oxygens is the same on both sides, so I do not need to worry about adding water. Then the second half of the reaction, I oxidized, I lost six electrons, so I'm going to add those six electrons back. There's only one chlorine atom. I need three oxygens, and therefore I will add three waters. When I add three waters, I will need six hydrogen ions, and I will need six hydroxides as well. So I will add six hydroxides to both sides of the reaction. Now, before I can go on, I have to have the same number of electrons gained as there are lost. And therefore, I will multiply the top one by three to get six electrons that were gained, three N2O4s, and six nitrite ions. Now, I can add them back together. Well, the only thing that cancels here are the electrons. And therefore, oh, wait, 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 we have to take care of these waters. We have six waters here, and we ha can cancel these three waters, leaving me with three waters. Therefore, I'm going to have six hydroxides, and three N2O4, and chloride ions, and chlorate ions, and six nitrites, and three waters. That is the lowest ratio of those, and therefore that is my final answer for number one. In number two, we are determining the element oxidized, the element reduced, the oxidizing agent, and the reducing agent. I'm putting it in this form because that's how you have it on your worksheets, and we need to get used to doing it in that form.
Well, all I need to have are my brackets and I can tell everything I need from that. And on the assessment, that's also how it's going to work. I will ask you a variety of questions. You do not need to balance the equation in order to get the answers to the questions. Well, the oxidizing agent contains the element reduced. The element that is reduced is nitrogen. The whole compound is the oxidizing agent. Chlorine is oxidized, and you could put Cl2 if you like, that's fine. And the reducing agent is the chloride ion. Now, the, in the oxidized half reaction, the total number of electrons that are lost would be six. In the reduction half, I have two atoms, therefore I gain not just one, but two electrons. And the total number that were transferred would be six in the complete reaction. And that's how you do number two. Now you have another eight to do, or six, I should say. Six is enough. Six more, you're going to complete worksheet C for this evening. Your facilitator will go over last night's answers with you. And then we'll be ready to practice for the assessment. So thanks for being here, and I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Bye.